Hi, Misha here, and happy Thanksgiving. Hope everyone's having a good holiday. And as I said on the main Misha Co. channel, where I put up a Thanksgiving video, it, hopefully you're either spending it with family this year, or if it's better, you're not not spending it with family. Either way, keep the political discussions to a minimum at the table. Things are getting way too crazy in the last few years about political disagreements. One way or the other. There's a time and a place. Or not. I don't know anymore. Oh, another day, another week gone by. Only one more month left in 2021. It uh, went by quick. But at the same time, it didn't. It has been, has been a long year when you look at everything that's happened the last two years, really. I feel like I remember 2019. We weren't able to go for Thanksgiving down to see family that year because my wife was sick, stayed home. It was really crummy weather. It was just, you know how those days, she didn't feel good and it was drizzly cold rain gray just nasty so we stayed home and then going home for Christmas 2019 looking back everything seemed so normal if we only knew what was in store for the next two years for us and heck I could be saying this a year from now if we only knew what was in store in the next three years uh yeah, boy, I don't think anyone can can disagree, whether you're on this side or that side of the political spectrum or this idea or the other thing, it's, it's just, there's been something for everyone and not in a good way. So that's why I'm wishing everyone has at least a good Thanksgiving this year. Every, we all need a break. We all need some uh, some some good time. Down visiting family a bit and going to get a little range time in not much just because time is limited and again as I said in a recent Mishiko video hard to shoot this time of year here because uh, hunting is going on so you don't want to go out blasting hundreds of rounds and spook all the game and anyway so we'll hopefully be able to do more shooting after Christmas by Christmas or right after most all the hunting seasons are over here there's a few oddities like bear, but then there's not much going on until April when you get to Turkey. So that's the plan. Of course, come back in a month for Christmas, doing the Christmas thing. <clears throat> Sitting outside, it's chilly, but not cold, but at least not unseasonably warm. Just the late autumn evening now. I'm actually recording these relatively early in the day for me, or early in the evening because of my wife's new work schedule. Anyway, in my last black box, I mentioned a few things. Oh, and like I said, I did post a video over on Misha Gal. wanted to mention that. It's the top, top 10 guns or top 10 things I found to be thankful for in 2021. It is based around guns, but uh, I actually used the comments and help from the video I posted on here two months ago about the two guns from my father. So they're, they're in that, so if you want, go check that out. And I do mention a, a few of you by name and all of you by general thanks and all that good stuff. I will get those out and actually shoot them at some juncture, but... The time's not ready yet. Maybe in the spring. Nice spring day would be the time for that, if that makes sense. But there are things to be thankful for in, in 2021. It has not all been bad. It really hasn't. If nothing else, we're here. We made it through, even if it wasn't all of us. Um, so there, there's that. And the thing to keep in mind throughout human history in virtually every location there have always been problems there have always been strife it's just when you're going through it personally it seems like it's the most monumental 
the most important, the most critical thing in the world. In, in view of history, it may be quite important, but when you read a history book, you just turn the page. And sometimes we have to remember that. The, the, the page of history we're on right now will be turned. We will get through it, for better or worse. But we will get through it one way or another. Any other news? Been restocking guns at the store. Got my first Steyr Augs in in a while. Picked up a few new AKs. Working on a video from Michiko on the Zestava M85, the two new versions, the 85PA and the 85TAC. You know, why not? We did the M90. So might as well do the M85. No real new old guns, uh, Millsurp guns. That's what I really kind of enjoy sometimes. But there might be one or two more things come in. Posted that preview video of the WBP milled pistol import. Be shooting that this week. Getting more of a range review together for it. See how that goes. In the model world, things have kind of picked up. Eagle Moss has finally shipped me a big box. Actually, it was a big, heavy box, and it was really quick. I Friday, I received a FedEx tracking notice before I even got the notice from Eagle Moss that they'd shipped, and it was already here by Sunday. Typically, from Eagle Moss, takes about a week, but I guess it was a big enough, heavy enough box. They sent it overnight. Or maybe it just came from a distribution center that was close to where I live. I don't know. So that's why there's been more Eagle Moss videos on here lately. It's just what's come in. I've also continued to do the Russian armor video. I've got a couple more recorded in the can. And eventually I'm going to start on U.S. American and German, namely uh, you know, Nazi German armor but I don't know when I'll get to that it, it just takes time the, the German stuff especially I'm just you know there's a lot to it a lot of words and variations and oh my god Germans you know there's a sub variant for everything <laughs> speaking of American and Russian stuff though I, I picked up a Patriot missile battery from who made that I think it was Panzerkampf I think was the company that made it Pretty neat. And then I picked up a Scud missile launching set from uh, Precision Model Art or Model Collect, I think it was. So it kind of reminds me of the Iraq War. Anyone who remembers that or has seen documentaries, that was the big deal was Iraq was launching Scuds at everything and everyone. And even though, as history has proven, the Patriot missile wasn't as effective as we were kind of led to believe 30 years ago, it did shoot down a number of Scuds. So that'll be a fun video to get to, but it may it may be a while. I've got a lot of them, a lot of them built up. That's the thing you you buy them now, and that's what I've been doing is kind of buying them on sale. Uh, Pete's collectibles. He found kind of one left of several, several pieces and priced them just to move. I think he was doing a fifteen percent off-site wide sale for one day only. Doing that, uh, Aikens was getting down to just one left of several things. So good time to pick them up before they go away because even when they come back it seems like the price goes up every time so buy them when I can put them on a shelf and then get to doing a video and really researching them and time sometimes I do it quickly sometimes it takes me months sometimes I've even wanted a year to do a model video so if it says it sometimes seems like I have a lot of new models sometimes it's not so much that they're new They've just been on the back burner for a very long time, to the point all the water is boiled out of the pot, but oh well. <laughs> Eventually, though, they'll, they'll get done. Gives me something to do if I ever get stuck in, you know, in, at home sick or whatever. I remember when I did the V1 and the V2 video, I was actually sick at home, and so I did them while recovering from the flu. Yay! 
still no real airplane stuff. Um, I do have some on order from Hobby Master and even Corgi, but another thing I had come in from Pete's that was airplane related was the uh, the new Hobby Master stands for the MiG-21, MiG-23, all that jazz. Oh well, it, it get in time. I'm sure things will happen. It, it'll probably all come in December. Seems to be like everything's clumping right now. I had several packages, uh, again, usually tank models, that were, went out of Russia. And back in September, they were shipping over and getting here in under three weeks, sometimes two weeks. And then they got stuck in October. And then it seems like that finally got unclogged. And I received the first of those today, and there's still a couple more in route. Each of them just has one or two, three models in it. Not a big deal. But, uh... At least we live in a day and time when international post isn't insanely expensive. I'm not gonna say it's cheap, but you know, for ten to twenty bucks, you can actually ship a reasonable size parcel. So yeah, just kind of, kind of marking time, working on a few new Mishiko channel videos. Recorded a few new videos for this channel. And uh, went down last weekend and installed a new back door in my mother's house. Uh, the one that was there, it's funny, you know, the back door, what, what, what wrong is uh, it's been there forever, it's just worn out. But really, what finally made it fall apart was this tiny little plastic clip broke. And they were telling, oh, it's need to replace this clip. And I, I warned them, I said, yeah, getting a specifically shaped part. It's hard to do when all this stuff's made in China or overseas now, and sure enough, they went to looking, and even though, yeah, probably a 50-cent part would have fixed it, good luck getting it. Now, the thing is, even if they found that part, chances are a month later, another little plastic part or another little screw would break. Once that stuff starts to go, it seems like it's just one after another. So, yeah, got that new door put in, hopefully in time before winter, so... Won't be a draft. Fixed in a few other little doors and things. We were going to go down to Texas to pick up the Swiss SG551s that weekend, but they got delayed. So instead of just wasting the day, we went down there and did that project. And now the goal is to go this weekend to pick up the SG551s. Hopefully they made it in probably by the time this video goes up and you watch it we'll know but uh they're done and they left switzerland so we will see going down this may when we picked up that big batch of guns and not just big in the sense of quite a few of them but also big in the sense of variety this batch is about a third the size that i'm picking up maybe a fourth even and it's pretty Pretty monotone, mostly all 5.5 five ones. Few special editions, mostly standard, a few of the, the NATO editions, and uh, picking up other accessories, mags, stocks, what have you, while we're down there. It's not a far drive from here, a few hours. It, it's certainly worth what we save on shipping. If it's more than say 15 guns from Dave, it's worth the trip. Less than that, he can just ship them. But more than that, yeah, it, it kind of starts to become economically viable. And it's nice to get out, go down there and visit with him again and pick those up. And that'll probably be the last big purchase I make for the store this year. Hopefully try to sell that through, uh, through December. One thing I'm a little unsure on long term I've mentioned on and off throughout the years about gun broker well they changed their formatting yet again recently and it's become more and more difficult for me to list new auctions before I could just go on Internet Explorer put up the auction doom and then I had to start using Google Chrome to do it plus Internet Explorer because they each kind of do different things that work for me better now the new category and model selection screens they have I have to use Firefox for some reason I cannot use Google Chrome certainly can't use Internet Explorer with my speech even my wife who can see just fine had a hard time doing it what it is is it's not keyboard accessible they never thought to really implement full keyboard controls like up down arrow that kind of thing 
So it sucks. Another thing that sucks, I sell a lot of boutique specialty guns. It's just what I do. It's worked well. So if you had one of those, let's take one of the Mac Arms guns, the the MK gun mods before. You would set manufacturer, you had to select from a direct gun list, you'd set it to other manufacturer. And then from there you would put other model. But then another a third field would pop up where you could type in and I would type Mac Arms Sten pistol and then it would go with that. Now you can't type in that third field. There's no so if I list a, a Mac Arms Sten pistol, I have to list it as other manufacturer, other model. And then I can put the barrel length, I can put the caliber, but I can't put the name anywhere. So if someone's searching on Gunbroker, it's not going to pop out to them like it, like it did before. And I've noticed that fewer people are coming to auctions now, and it's not just me. I was talking to a major seller on Gunbroker there, and he said their sales are just way down because Gunbroker has made it more difficult to sign up and bid. And I get it. They're trying to combat... Uh, false bidding, what do you call it, non-payer bidding, that kind of thing. I, I appreciate that. But the the flip side is if you make it harder for people to sign up or bid, then you're going to have fewer people. And this is on top of the compliance fee, and this is on top of sales tax. Long story short, as I've said all year, I don't know how much longer Gumbroker is going to be the place to go. It was already kind of shaky before, but... Yeah, so I don't know between it being more and more difficult for me to post things on and sell things on there and just the, the, the lower uh, traffic, I don't know. But I'm not going to complain. One thing to be truly thankful for was that batch of Swiss guns this year. That allowed us to get several major bills paid off, credit cards paid off, house paid off. So if I have to kind of go unemployed a little bit, or at least low employment, well, our bills are less, so, you know. And I, so I've started kind of putting feelers out to see if someone needs part-time work or consultant work or, you know, just kind of feeling what my options are because I'm just, I don't have a great feeling about gun broker in general and moreover my personal ability to continue using it we'll see I'm, I'm, i'll get through this christmas for sure but next christmas may be a different situation maybe i'll be doing different work anyway anywho that's what's going on no reason as the old saying goes no sense in crying over spilt milk which never made sense to me. Why don't, I don't, why would you cry over, I don't know. Anyway, I know it refers to farming back in the day. But um, just wanted to do a Thanksgiving black box. Let you know we're all doing all right down here. And just getting ready for the holiday season. And best and well wishes to you all. Feel free to comment. Let us know how you're spending the holidays what you had to eat, if you ate too much of it, <laughs> how things are going. And as always, if you could, please like, share, subscribe. And if you haven't, definitely please go check out the uh, Thanksgiving video over on the Misha Co. channel. I will probably publish it right around the same time I do this black box here. With that said, guys, this is Misha. I'll catch you very soon next time.